Next I go over it in pen. There's that train. He's going to be a blue bird, but with some accents. There's a bird that Picasso has done and that wing really, it really reminds me of it. picked out my colors. I sharpened them. My last video. I think I'm missing a little something on this. I'll come back to that. I'm going to save that beak to the last. I'm not quite happy with that. I want to be careful with how I fix it. And what I'll probably do is I'll work with my pencil a little bit until I get it just right. And then I'll put the pen on. Yeah, since this is going in the kitchen, I want it to be a simple little bluebird. And I know there's more to it. There, I lived in Athens, Georgia for a long time and there was a bluebird cafe there and I'm wondering if any of you guys know of any other bluebird cafes. I want to say there was one in Nashville. I thought that I watched a video one time so I guess I need to find out what's the deal with bluebird cafe because there's something to it. And there you go. That's simple. Now let me look at this little mouth. I like his eyes. Like he's he's looking up to the sky. He's telling you all about it. Let's see, where's that pencil again? There it is. Yeah, I think I'll do them like that. That'll work. So there's that. Next what I do is I erase all of the pencil marks once I have my design where I want it. And I'm going to stop the camera when I'm finished because I'm going to take another picture of this. I'm going to scan it in. In case you guys would like to use this, I will make it available in my sales account. This will be available as an instant download if you guys are interested in coloring along with me. The link is in the information below. carefully push away all my pencil marks. I make sure that I 
catch any that I might have missed. I generally have a couple of stragglers. That feels pretty good. I always date my work, so I'm going to put today's date. 11, 8, 15. Okay. I'm going to scan him in and then I will be right back.